Good evening, friends. This is Sister Gwendolyn Song. Horrific news came out of Giza, Egypt today. Would you please take a moment uh, as you listen to this video message and pray for the family and the friends of 41 Christians who were killed in a fire Sunday morning during church services. They had gathered for mass in a small room at a Coptic Orthodox church in Greater Cairo, Egypt. And according to reports, the power had been out earlier and the generator and electrical outlets were running at the same time. Now, as soon as the power came back on, witnesses said that the generator exploded and then an air conditioning unit, which led to a blaze that tore through the four-story building. The church's name was Abu Safen Church, and according to the government, there was a stampede of churchgoers. Some fled to the windows, and rescuers hauled some to the roof. This is a very disturbing story. And footage shared on social media and verified by the New York Times showed the worshipers screaming for help as thick smoke poured from the building. And others gathered on the roof of the church as flames spread around them. This is such a tragic story. By the end of the day, 41 bodies had been counted, including several children and the church's bishop. At least a dozen other people were injured. The majority of the deaths and injuries were from smoke inhalation and stampede, according to Egypt's health ministry. An investigation into the fire has been ordered. And some, this is very interesting, some residents of this neighborhood called Mbaba, the densely packed neighborhood that is home to the church, criticized the response time of the government and emergency services. Uh, one woman said in footage shared by Al Jazeera that the crews did not arrive for two and a half hours. The emergency crews. Now, there was a uh, angry uh, crowd gathering outside the hospital where some of the victims were being treated. And others said that the emergency responders arrived within 15 minutes and they had quickly put out the flames. We got two completely different stories going on here. Uh, Yosef Ibrahim, 19 years old, he lives next door to the church building. He said that he was on his way to work when the explosion rippled across the neighborhood. And in shock, he ran to the building. Now, friends, these are our brothers and sisters in Christ who were lost in this fire today. This is such a tragic story, and it's a story under investigation, and only the Lord knows the real truth right now. But I believe it's our responsibility as members of the body of Christ to remember these people in our prayers, these very, very... Uh, Sad uh, family members and church friends and neighbors, they have lost 41 precious souls today. I want you to really remember what the Apostle Paul said to the church in Corinth, that if one member suffers, that the other should suffer with them. And we also know what true biblical mourning, how it's really expressed. We can see that in the book of Job, where Job's friends came while he was suffering catastrophic loss, almost everything he had lost in his life. And his friends came and they sat down beside him in the ashes and they mourned alongside him. So friends, in the spirit, we too can mourn alongside our brothers and sisters in Christ who are there in Egypt today. All right, well, I thank you for uh, joining me on this short broadcast. We bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. Mm -hmm.